Douglas County prosecutors believe this Omaha substitute teacher sexually assaulted a teenage boy more than once. Now, 45 year old Aaron Ward was arrested Saturday morning after a 911 call of a suspicious vehicle parked on a dead end road. That was near 109th, 89th and Blondo. Well, deputies found the teacher with a 17 year old boy. And as KETV News Watch 7's Eddie Messel is learning, the investigation reveals it may not have been her first time. Rob, Julie, Aaron Ward was a substitute teacher at OPS Burke High School. The school confirming that Ward will not be returning to their school or any others in the district. It comes after Ward was arrested and charged with one count of felony sexual abuse by a school employee after admitting to having sexual relations with a teen. If it's an ongoing relationship, which is what we see here, um, then I consider that grooming. I mean, obviously, there's some things that will come out in the investigation that I'm I'm not going to get into the details of right now that would suggest certainly she was doing things um, down that path that I would consider grooming, yes. Douglas County Deputy District Attorney Brenda Beadle describes the investigation into a substitute teacher found Saturday overnight with a 17-year-old student. Based on what we know in the interviews that were done, um, it is sexual abuse by a school employee, which um, in this case is a two-way, which carries zero to 20 years. Deputies say the victim jumped into the driver's seat, driving two blocks before crashing into a yard. The boy ran off. That's when deputies made contact with 45-year-old Aaron Ward, who was putting her clothes on in the back seat. Deputies later found the victim in the Newport Landing neighborhood wearing just boxers, a t-shirt, and socks. That we have female teachers, female coaches, female you know, scout leaders doing this, whether it's with a boy or with a girl, it doesn't matter. The impact is the same and it can have a long term impact into into adulthood. A common misconception in cases such as this is that a teenage male cannot be a victim. But as Michelle Bang, deputy director of Project Harmony, tells us that is not the case. I know that some of the questions and some of the things that people have indicated is that it's different when when the victim is a male as opposed to a female, which I, I don't agree with that, and again, the whole purpose of this statute um, is to protect those that are vulnerable. Experts urge that whether you're a victim or even a bystander, it is important to always speak up. But it is important, to be honest, um, if, if you're a young person involved. It, it can be difficult, um, but you know we know that statistically um, some offenders are going to offend multiple times, and so by sharing your story, um, you may be preventing another. Now, Project Harmony offers resources and therapy to help any families going through situations dealing with child sexual abuse. Aaron Ward's first appearance in court is set for tomorrow at 9 a.m. Rob, Julie? Okay, thank you, Eddie.